Hello, I read Millions of Cats by Wanda Gig. Um, it's also illustrated by her. Um, it's published by Coward McCann and G. Hoganen. Again, its copyright date is 1928. It is fiction, a fiction storybook, and a fable. It's about 32 pages, and I would say that the appropriate ages are about 4 to 6. So the story is about an old man and an old woman who live alone, and they are very lonely, and so they, they can't be happy because they're all alone. And so one day, the old lady decides that she wants to get, that she wants a cat. And so the old man goes on his way onto this adventure to find a cat, and finally he finds a whole hill of cats. Um, and there's millions, billions, and trillions of cats up there, and he picks up one, and then sees another one that he likes, and wants to take that one, and then he sees another one, and so he keeps going until he's picked all trillion of the cats, and takes them all with him, and when they get back to the house, um, the woman is like, we can't keep all these cats, we don't have enough food for them, and he's like, oh, I didn't think of that. And so they ask the cats which one of them is the prettiest, and that's going to be the one that they keep. But all of the cats say themselves, and they start to fight and argue, and um, it gets violent. And so the old lady and old man run inside, and finally they come back outside when it is um, calm and they can't hear anything. And they find a one little cat hiding right there, and they decide that they'll take him in and... He was very malnourished and homely, and they took him in, and they decided that he was the prettiest cat of them all, and yeah, he grew up, got milk every day, plenty of it, and he grew nice and plump, and so that's how the story ends. Um, the illustrations, I think that they could be better. Um, the, the text actually describes the book really well, and so it's okay to have them black and white, but I believe that they're done in black pen. And they are very descriptive, um, but yeah, I think that it would be better if it was done in color. And then the setting is the 1920s. I can tell by like her outfit. They kind she kind of dressed like a pioneer woman. Um, but and then it starts off with Once Upon a Time, so we know that it's kind of longer. And then the theme is just, I believe it's just beauty and loving things that um, you wouldn't expect to because I think a big theme is just that um, everything is pretty in its own way or beautiful in its own way. And then there are many interactions between like the cats and there was the really bad one when they all started to fight. That was a really bad interaction. Um, but the homely cat had a really good interaction at the end when they decided to keep them. And then I'd say that this book is good for children because some children can relate to not thinking they're as pretty as their friends or um, other people. And this really shows that everything is beautiful in its own way. And then for my activity, I say that for younger kids, I would have my students, I would have them get in a circle and I would grab a yarn ball and give it to them and they would toss it and they'd keep the string and so at the end it'd be a big maze because cats play with yarn. And then for my older students, um, this book talks about like millions, billions, and trillions of cats so I would have them like pick out different numbers that were in the like, millions, billions, and trillions.